Stroud Pubs. These five valleys can prove quite a test as you negotiate hills on a rambling quest. So if you get parched and in need of a rest, we've the finest of pubs for a pint of the best. If you're up on the common, come down past the fort, the Prince Albert stands where the road has a fork. The welcome is warm and the cellar is cool, and colours and canvases adorn the walls. Lottie and Miles pass a pot for the bands, so chuck in some change if you've got some to hand. Or if you are walking the Valley of Slad, on the side of the road you'll find the wool pack. A regular haunt of Mansell and Lee, there's never a day when the bar's not a squeeze, but if you get in, grab a pint of you, Lee. A real Cotswold beer, an exceptional treat. Or if Amberley's where you just happen to be, when you're done hunting cows, the black horse you must seek. If you're sitting outside from the wood burner's heat, the views of the valley are quite hard to beat. Or should you be out on the town centre streets, there's a pub by the shambles that's named The Retreat. A long-standing staple of Saturday Eve where ravers and revellers are happy to meet. Or if you were keen on the heaven's sweet stream, the crown and scepter is only a short walk when you leave. Just head to Horns Road where the daisy bank meets and Rodder is waiting there, happy to greet. There's flyers on the walls of nights that have been, ceilings decorated and also the beams. The roasties are great and the budding's top notch, the fire's always stoked and the laughter's non-stop. Or if you should wander down lower or middle and reach Nelson Street whilst in need of a tipple, head into the fleece with their fine choice of ale. Those walls hold some history in drunken Stroud tales. Rory and Anya now keep it alive, this old piece of town that we're pleased is revived. And if you can drink and maintain a calm cool, then I would suggest why not sample them all.